Good morning, chickens. How are you today? Sorry I didn't make you a video yesterday, and this one's a little late. Uh, I just got back from vacation and had a lot to do. I apologize. But today is Monday, and we're in a brand new zone. Uh, we're in zone three, but let's start at the beginning. If you are brand new, please shine your sink. If you are in your first week only, we should be on routines only. So do your routines. What are your routines? If you're brand new, you don't know, but there's a link and it's right below and it's called the four cornerstone routines. Um, if you are with me for more than uh, two weeks, then you need to be on your weekly plan, your basic weekly plan and on Mondays, if you're um, an at-home fly baby, then you are going to be doing your uh, weekly home blessing hour. If you are a payroll fly baby, then you'll be doing just your routines during the week and maybe a little bit of zone work, but not a lot. Um, unless you have, you know, you're a teacher, you get off early and you feel like you have a spare hour then you can go ahead and do that. But I totally know what it feels like having worked the entire time my children were being raised um, to not have enough time during the week. So uh, what you want to do is make sure you complete your processes, pick up, you know, finish pick, putting away things, make sure your children put things away. You know, and with kids, you need to inspect what you expect. So tell them what you expect and then inspect it. Make sure it's done because children won't do it. They just won't. I mean, they'll go all the way through high school and even be in college at home, and they still need to be inspected. It's not like a military inspection. It's firm but kind inspection. You know, you're, you're teaching them, so you be firm but kind. But do inspect what you expect. Okay, i got to put my sunglasses on. Excuse me. I'll probably look better. Oh, yeah. Okay, now... I'm on my way over to my parents' home, so that's why I am uh, driving the car. It's my first opportunity to make a video this morning. Okay, <clears throat> and excuse me, I still have a cough left over from the flu, and I think they said that's going to hang around for five weeks, so I've got a couple more weeks of raspiness, and I apologize for that. Um, if you've been with me for longer than three weeks, you're in four weeks, you've been with me for a month, you should be working on your routines. I mean, on your yes, you should be working on your routines and your basic weekly plan, but you should also be um, doing your zones. So we are in zone two. It starts with me, the way I do it with my fly babies, we start on Monday, we end on Saturday, we don't do it on Sunday. Um, okay, so zone two is the Oh no, we're in zone three. We're already in zone three. Zone three is the um, bathroom and one other room. And that doesn't mean your master bathroom, it means the hall bathroom. The room that your guests would use when they come to your home. So that's the room you want to make sure you start to detail now, detail. If it has clutter in it, then we're gonna work for 15 minutes straight. And that's why I say a fly baby who is a payroll fly baby could do their zones during the week a little bit 15 minutes at a time so you can declutter for 15 minutes and then when you declutter remember you're doing uh, throw away give away put away those are your three categories so you stay in place have your containers right there with you and don't think twice your first indication is the best indication put your trash in the trash your, throw, your giveaway in the giveaway bag, bag or box, and your put away in the put away box. Now, when the 15, when you're done with your 15 minutes, you need to go ahead and finish the process, which means take the garbage to the garbage can, take the and not the garbage can in the bathroom. It needs to get out. You need to get it out of that room. I prefer you take it outside. Some people say they have a big garbage can in the kitchen. They can fit it in there if you can. Fine. Um, but I, I'd like to see it taken outside. Just get it out of the house. Uh, the second thing is your giveaway. Take that to your car. Every Thursday we have errand day, and that's when you'll be taking your things to um, the, the group that you're giving it to, Goodwill, um, DI, uh, 
woman's group, whatever, you know, that's where it goes. So you need a container in your car of some sort to hold those things so they won't break and bounce around. Um, I put mine in the truck, but you know, if you have a, a truck, you might put it in the back seat, or if you have a um, an SUV or something, you know, put it in the very back. But put it back there. Don't leave it in the house because what will happen is it'll get reassimilated, and then you're back where you started. So put it in the car. And then the other thing is um, your your put away, and that means put those things like items together before you even get out of that room, put like items together and then say, okay, these go to my bedroom. These go to my children's rooms. This goes to the kitchen. This stays in here. And then put things away. So it's gonna take you longer than 15 minutes because you have to finish the process. All right, that's it for today. I hope you're having a fabulous day. And I want you to remember always that you are beautiful. See you tomorrow.